Hi everybody, this is Carlos Ocelot, and I'm the founding CEO of G2 Esports, and this is Samurai Arena, the game. We actually always had in mind to, you know, to create a game uh, showcasing, so to say, our mascot, our logo, our samurai, and we finally had the chance to do so. This is a very small mini game that we hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, you'll see yourself playing as G2, as the samurai, and beating hordes of enemies, and hopefully scoring some points along the way. The moment we thought about creating you know, so to say this mini game, uh, we were looking at a number of, of different companies and we thought about Thoughtfish. These guys are pretty good at their job, they're fast, they're, you know, very effective, so we started working with them. Hi, I'm Christina, I'm the CEO of Thoughtfish. We started off pretty quickly because uh, someone from G2 approached us with, hey, we have a game idea, we would like to do something, and uh, it was a very creative process. Hi, I'm Philip. I'm game designer at Thoughtfish. There were some, some things we knew we wanted. Like, we knew we wanted a leaderboard, and we knew we wanted to have a game that requires some skill. And then we kind of brainstormed and explored those directions. Uh, we got everyone in the team into one room, and we brainstormed a couple of ideas just to see what different directions can we go to. Uh, we wanted something fun, we wanted something uh, which always piques you to be better and better and better and um, also really fitting for, for G2. So it took us a while to come up with the idea of the Samurai Arena. Hi guys, I'm Floris and I'm the game artist here at Swordfish. The Samurai is connected to the Japanese culture, so we want to include the Japanese culture in there too. Um, but of course we know that the game must um, be fun and must um, be um, um, yeah, available for different kind of people who all love games. And then we kind of went into the details and yeah, discussed how things look in detail. Like how does the combat work? How does are we going to have levels? We, how many enemies should we have? Like like those sort of things. And then we started building it, and it was lots of fun. But the heavy lifting was done by the programmers and artists, of course, because they do the the actual things that you see. Well, the main character creation, if we think of it from backwards, pretty simple. So we have this, uh, this awesome logo, uh, which implied the mask of the samurai, and just making a figurine out of that was, um, was something which came really natural uh, to us. Also the color coding and uh, pictures we could Google all implied, okay, it must be that kind of character. Uh, we think we added the Twitch mode because we think that everyone who is following what G2 is doing actually has a Twitch account and also would like to show that they are following uh, and are interested in what G2 is doing. So it was very important for us that we have a leaderboard in there so we assume that these are people who appreciate competitiveness. Um, I think if you like G2, if you're a big fan of G2 and you like games um, and you want to be, um, yeah, have some competition with other G2 fans, I think this is the most um, core of the game. We brought in our expertise in Samurai Arena and if you enjoyed our work, uh, check out Fight Links. This is our current mobile game. It is a context-sensitive collectible card game. It's available on iOS and Android. We succeeded on the, the core vision, which is to have this competitive and uh, a competitive skill-based game um, that is very simple to play, but offers variety and different difficulties and, and some change of pace. So actually, we created the game to give players or fans of G2 a better insight uh, into G2's history and also to, uh, uh, to bring out there the strong belief that try again, try again, try again and you will get better at what you're doing and uh, you fail if you give up.